Man, I wonder if there's gonna be anything new in the next update besides the Dragon Crew 3 work. Specifically for boats, boats are kind of boring in block suits. I wonder when they're gonna finally start making these boats better. If only there was something that's gonna happen about boats in the next update. Welcome back everybody for another video. Today what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about the boat system in block suits because there's official leaks, actual official leaks from hackers and other stuff like that that talks about boats and how boats are going to be better in the next update. And then there's also um, a bunch of announcements that I'm gonna make in this video that I think will be very good for the community. So I would like to announce that an 83,500 subscriber giveaway is going to be happening very soon. So if you wanna be part of this 83,500 Dark Blade giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe right now to the channel and a permanent fruit giveaway is also going to happen at 85,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of both these giveaways, all you have to do is like and subscribe and also share this video with your friends. So without further ado, subscribe. So as I mentioned earlier, um, the boats in Block Suits are actually kind of boring. There's not, not, there's not that much with boats apart from them being your vehicle when doing sea events. And um, before the update 21 or the kitsune update or whatever you want to call that update actually they haven't added repair systems and stuff like that yet however um recently they did so, uh, add a feature a new feature called the subclass or the shipwright feature and let's actually go take a look at that so in tiki outpost right here if you come over here and come down here you will find that there's a hole hole here or a bottom or a um hole whatever you want to call it and then if you come down here um, you have the shipwright, shipwright teacher right here and if you go talk to the shipwright teacher you basically have to do a bunch of quests and stuff like that to unlock the feature but um, this is basically a subclass so the shipwright subclass is one of many subclasses that they're going to be adding this is the only subclass right now in the game and we're going to be talking about the next subclass that's going to get added in the next update officially confirmed by the game files or with the game files and also buy some other hackers and stuff like that so basically what this does is allows you to repair boats for example repair one can repair boats using wooden planks for plus 10 hp trees can drop two to four wooden planks at a 30 percent chance and you can basically level these up all of these up until you max it all out and once it's maxed you're basically gonna have an easier time with sea events and this is actually very useful for sea events because you could repair your ship and you don't really need to go back to um to to what they call this to ports or you go back to the main island and this is gonna basically increase or make it easier to hunt sea beasts a lot easier to hunt sea beasts and leviathan and stuff like that so this is actually very very good however now you're going to be adding a new subclass to the game that's going to not be shipwright related how and um, it's not going to be um, repair related because the shipwright is basically repairing the boat related. The shipwright mechanic or the shipwright subclass is all about repairing the boat and making sure that your boat doesn't get destroyed. However, with this new leak that um, we have, there's going to be a new subclass that's going to focus on something else. You guys can see right here, um, he is talking about or ACS is talking about. So basically, this is the same guy that leaked Angel Fighting Style, a bunch of stuff about Angel Fighting Style, and he is the owner of Ho Ho Hub. And I know a lot of you guys will probably know what that is because i know a lot of you guys out there are very 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 suspicious if you know what ho ho hub is you're very suspicious okay you're very sus anyways um he basically talks about this new subclass that's going to get added in the next update called Hel helmsman um basically what this is it's going to increase the speed for your boat and apart from increasing the speed of your boat which in my opinion is very awesome it's going to give you a very overpowered boost which is it will give you a boost that you will never get knocked off from sea events which means no one's gonna fall off the boats anymore as long as you are in uh, one of the seats so basically with this subclass if you're playing with this subclass or if you are driving with this for example you're the driver and you have um this subclass equipped you're basically gonna have this chance to have a um a mini game so for example uh, if you have the subclass equipped helmsman equipped there's gonna be these stuff appearing in the ocean and if you hit this stuff you're going to gain a boost so for example if you enter your boat towards the circle you're gonna gain a boost apparently according to him so this is gonna be very useful for um for basically doing sea event hunting so as you guys can see right here this is some images when you are using helmsman so as you guys can see if you sail towards the indicator you're gonna get a boost and release one in green for extra hp so this is actually very important and by the way huge shout out to sentry as well which is basically the guy who sent me the angel leaks he was able to get me these stuff from the game file so basically if you're seated 
while the um well, while you have the shipwright subclass or sorry the helmsman or helmsman subclass you're basically never gonna fall off from sea events so even if you keep getting spammed by leviathan you're never gonna fall off from sea events as long as you are seated you will never fall off and this is very good for people or uh, for a massive team for example you won't get spammed you won't get, you won't fall off and it's gonna be very useful before we continue on with this video um, i want to shout out the sponsor of today's video which is going to be kinjo because they are such an amazing website and they moving forward we're gonna sponsor them even more wouldn't it be nice if there was an app that let you earn free robux while playing your favorite roblox games kinjo is an app where you can play the best quality roblox games to help you build skills that will make you a better gamer each game on Kinjo has a flame ranking that is based on the skills you learn in-game. The more flames, the more Kinjo coins you earn. Earn enough Kinjo coins and you can redeem them for real-life Robux. Sign up and earn Robux while playing your favorite games like Blocks Foods and Haze Peace. And make sure to use my referral code KM4DJH when signing up to earn 300 Kinjo coins for free. And the best part, we will also be doing a permanent fruit giveaway for everyone that uses my referral code when signing up on Kinjo. Download Kinjo now in the pinned comment and description to earn Robux while playing games and having fun. Sign up now on Kinjo because I'm sure you're gonna need it for the update. Now that that is done, I want to uh, give you guys the announcements now. Now that we are done with the, you know, the leaks and stuff like that. We are now going to be announcing something. So recently, we just reached 83,500 subscribers. And with the 83,500 subscribers, I mentioned that we are going to be doing a Dark Blade giveaway, which we are going to be doing a Dark Blade giveaway. However, I noticed as well, since there's not really that much stuff to do in Block Suits, which is um, kind of sad. There's not that, that much to do in Block Suits anymore. Not that much to talk about even, even in terms of leaks. There's not that much to talk about. I've decided that we are now going to start streaming again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a poll after this video releases there's going to be a community post that's gonna let you guys vote on whether or not you want to see me stream or if you don't want to see me stream so basically what I'm going to be doing in the streams is every time we hit a sub goal so for example 85,000 subscribers or at 83,500 subscribers for the dark Blade giveaway we are going to be doing a live stream where we're gonna do the giveaway and also we're gonna help fans get uh, for example leviathan um to hunt leviathan and stuff like that we're also gonna maybe help fans grind materials which is gonna be very good to also help them prepare for the update and also in general just talking with people maybe talking about leaks and stuff like that that's what i'm planning on doing with these streams and i'm not gonna do them all the time i'm also going to take a look if the first stream is successful i'm going to continue doing it but if the first stream flops and nobody tunes in for the first stream I am not going to be streaming anymore because this is more of an experimental thing. I wanted to see whether or not this stream is going to be pretty good because if it's good and a lot of people, a lot of you guys like it, then I'm going to continue doing these streams. But if it turns out you guys think it's very bad and you don't want to see my face or you don't want to see me stream, then I'm not going to be streaming. So there's going to be a chance for you guys to vote in the community post if you want to be part of this um, decision. Then all you have to do is head onto the community post after this is posted. And yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I'm very excited for these new features um with the boat system because i believe it's gonna be very interesting anyways that's gonna be it guys if you enjoyed this video all you have to do is subscribe and also don't forget to check out kinjo for permanent foods thanks for watching and peace out everybody